Hey everyone, today is the time for my monthly favorites and I'm so excited about that video because last time I didn't get to film because I was away uh, for Christmas and when I got back it was kind of too late to do that video so today I'm just going to show you all the products I've been loving for the past month and yeah, let's just get on with it. I'm gonna start with a lipstick and this lipstick is by MAC surprise surprise it's my favorite company for lipsticks because even though they are 15 pounds each they last for such a long time on your lips and you don't have to keep reapplying them as opposed to like Rimmel London lipsticks so they will last forever and this one is the frost finish which I don't really usually tend to go for but I really love this color it's the plum dandy looks like that and I picked it up when I was in London two weeks ago and ever since I've been obsessed like I featured it in my Valentine's edition getting ready style video which will be linked at the end of this one if you want to see it but this color was just too pretty not to pick it up it's the very metallic purpley pink color and I do believe that it makes your lips look so unique and pretty and it lasts all like with eating and drinking it honestly lasts like up to four hours so I think that's pretty long and yeah I really dare you to go to my counter and try this lipstick another makeup item that I got I actually got in a gift set of, for Christmas and it's number seven gift set and it's this mascara it's a lash adapt for buildable volume mascara it's kind of hard to show you because it's re keep reflecting but I've really been enjoying this and to be honest I love like my falsies and them um, real mascara by benefit but now I kind of changed to this one because it's a pretty good mascara to be honest it says it's volumizing but I also think it's really lengthening and that's what I tend to go for I prefer the lengthened uh, like lashes rather than volumized but the wand is pretty standard um, just like really standard one but yeah moving on to skincare i have added another product to my daily routine and this is by brand con simple because my skin is kind of sensitive and the whole concept of simple cosmetic is that they don't have any harsh ingredients and they are hypoallergic so i got that and it is the simple kind of skin pore minimizing toning cleanser so it's supposed to like get rid or minimalize your pores and I don't know if you can see the liquid inside but it has like a bubbles and all of that that's supposed to help and what I've been doing with this is just ever like in the morning and sometimes at night I would just wash my face with it like before applying makeup in the morning and sometimes afterwards in the evening before my night creams and stuff like that and I do believe it helps like I, I noticed a little bit of a difference in my pores so that's great and it's also really inexpensive so I think it's worth picking up and trying it next up I've got two number seven products as again which I got from my gifts book for my mom but the day cream and night cream and they look like that and they're, they are amazing I love them so so much so I don't know if you can see that but they are protect and perfect in pants day cream with SPF 15 that's the first one and the second one is the protect and perfect intense night cream and they are both hypoallergic and 50 ml bottles and they've been great they're so moisturizing like my skin is very dry so I really need an, like an intense moisturizer and also supposed to help with the fine lines and wrinkles and whatnot so yeah it is a pretty really good product and I'm sure gonna open and show you the consistency it's yeah it's kind of a thick consistency and yeah I, I guess if you are if you have oily skin you wouldn't really need that but if you have like kind of dry or normal skin then it's good to pick this up but the downside to this product is that 20 to 23 pounds each which I think it's really overpriced I don't know if you want to try some good day and night cream and you don't really care about the price then yeah pick those up because they are great Moving on to fashion favorites, they definitely would have to be those shoes. Oh, let me show you. They're cutout shoes in both colors because I picked up, firstly I picked up the shiny black color. 
but then I loved them so much that I picked up a really more kind of unique and unusual white shoes because not many people were like playing white shoes that's why I think it's more unique and yeah they are both from River Island they are both like Jeffrey Campbell Coltrane style boots and they are both like amazing on I love them so much they are so pretty and I've been really wearing them a lot for the past month so yeah that's that and also, I've been really liking this scarf because now in the UK it got, got kind of cold and without scarves I, I wouldn't be really... I'm really cold all the time so without scarves I would be really cold and this one is the Infinity Scarf and I can show you it on I think it's really cute and yeah it just looks kind of like that it goes well with everything pretty much and yeah it's kind of a statement piece if you have like a black coat it can add up something to your outfit spice it up a little bit I have to include this brush in my video because I honestly don't know how I survived without it like how did I do my highlighting without this brush it's the Inglot Forest S brush it will if it will focus yes no yeah and it is like really fluffy brush and I love it because it picks up the pigment of the highlighter so well like you just only dip it in once and you have like lots of product on it and it doesn't waste many which I love it blends so well and I just love it so much I really don't know how I lived without it I only got it in December and I've been using this every single day in January without the fail so yeah that's pretty much like how I love this brush okay so I'm definitely a candle sort of person I love when my room smells nice and refreshing so this month I've been obsessed with this Yankee candle it's apple and pie needle looks like that and I'm gonna show you inside because it looks so cool look it's like a frost or something on top of a candle because I think it's supposed to be a Christmas or winter edition candle but I love this scent and I just can't get over it it's kind of like a forest uh, but with a hint of fruity as well like I wouldn't say it's necessarily an apple well probably it is but I wouldn't I couldn't distinguish that but I could like fruit or something and yeah it's really really nice so if you ever in store something just give it a try smell or something and you'll see which scent I've been loving so yeah all right guys so that is the end of my journey of favorites video thank you so much for watching please subscribe to me and I will see you in my next one bye